Good afternoon, Cornerstone. Listen, today I want to talk to you about retraining your brain. <laughs> that might sound a little bit funny, but listen to what Romans 12, 2 says. It says, do not be conformed to the image of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, by retraining your brain. Then it goes on to say that you might prove or experience what is the good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Listen, sometimes living in victory means that we need to, to develop new habits in our lives, re, renewing, our, uh, renewing our minds, so to speak. You know, we've had years of living in the world, and so we need to kind of retrain our mind, retransform ourselves based on really kind of in a way that only the Word, the word of God can do. Train, change our minds, retrain our minds. You, maybe you've been a negative person all of your life, and you need to retrain your thinking to be positive. If you do that, you change, I can't. Now becomes I can. Uh, this will never happen to. It's only a matter of time until this happens. Uh, I'll never get well. Once you've retrained your mind, you understand that God is restoring health unto me. That's what the Word of God says. And so if you're walking by faith and you've retrained your mind, you begin to say things like, God's favor surrounds me like a shield. And I may have made a lot of mistakes, but I'm redeemed. And I'm sanctified, and I'm justified, and I'm forgiven, and you have an understanding that your best days are still out in front of you. It's a lot like uh, reprogramming a computer, if you will. You know, you wipe off that old, outdated, dysfunctional, virus-infected software, and you load something new into the thing, and all of a sudden it starts working like, like it should be, even better than that. So instead of spending your days focused on, on how things won't work, you change your focus onto the God, onto God who makes all things work. And so listen, it doesn't matter how bad it may look. It, may, it doesn't matter what people may be saying. It doesn't matter how long it's been. I'm telling you from the word of God, God can do all things. And God has the final say. It, listen, this is not over until we cross the threshold of heaven. So relax. Walk in peace. Shake off that self-pity. Shake off that disappointment. Let go of the old. Get your joy back. And start believing in the God who created the universe. Declare his promises that are found in the word of God over your life. And if you will live like this, according to the word of God, we can experience victory. We can walk in the blessings as we line ourselves up with him. God has great things in store. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for the transforming power of your word active in our lives. Thank you that you've given us hope. Thank you that we have a future in you. That we choose to trust you and we choose to believe your word. And Father, we thank you for victory in all things in our lives. Thank you for your word that transforms us to be more like you every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, do you receive it? I call you blessed. And as always, remember, we're stronger together.